hello lovelies welcome back to my channel so in today's video will be a very quick and short one so i'm going to be marking my front body separately from my back body and what i folded folded is about 15 to 16 inches so the first thing i'm going to be marking is a straight line to mark out the label for my anchor and the reason for cutting the front and the back separately is to maximize my, my fabric and you're going to see it at the end of the video or towards the middle of the video so i went ahead to mark my bust point i and i marked at 18 inches i do not want it to be fitted by the at the armhole that's why i am I marked at 18 inches then the next thing i'm going to be marking is the full length of the gown and then two inches allowance for stitching i'm just going to go ahead and extend on these lines if you want your armhole to be fit fitted um at your normal armhole please go ahead and mark your normal armhole but for me because this is a free gown i do not want it to be fitted at my armhole area so i'm going just going to mark the lines across um the points that i just made so the next thing i'm going to be doing is to mark um my neckline and for the width of my neckline i am using 2.5 inches and for them for the depth i am marking 3 inches that's 2.5 inches by 3 inches and just like most times i'm using a round neck Once I am done with this, I'm going to go ahead and take half of my shoulder measurements, which my shoulder measurement is 11 inches, but I am marking as 12 inch, marking as 12 inches, that's 6 inches, because I'm going to be turning the armhole. And then I will connect the line to the sh um, chest line. Then for my shoulder slope, I went down by 1 inch, and then I will go ahead and connect it to my neckline. Once I am done with that, I will go ahead and take my water of my bust measurement. That's my bust measurement divided by 4. I will make a point there. And then I am going to add my station allowance at 1.5 inches. Once I am done with that, I will make a point there. And I am going to go ahead and connect my armhole. If you want at this point, you are going to you take out 0.5 inches from the armhole. If you've been following me on this channel, you've seen me do this a couple of times. But for this style, excuse me, I won't be doing this. So from that um, chest point or the bust point, I'm going to go ahead and slant the line all the way from that place to the hemming to the hem of the gown. So you see the reason we add we we folded by 15 inches so that we can slant this because of the style and i'll go ahead and cut this if you haven't subscribed up to this moment please take one minute to hit on the subscribe button join the growing family and to my old subscribers i say thank you very much for all your support i could i can see it every single day and i really appreciate it so for the second one for the back one i'm going to go ahead and fold my fabric into two and if you notice as i was cutting the front one at the hemming side at the same side i went up by about one inch um, i hope you understand this so it go up by one inch so that it doesn't is not pointy at that hemming side at the same side at the hemming side i don't know how to explain this just make sure i um listen to watch the video again where i'm cut where i am cutting it i pointed at this place at that place so that you understand so you can see the way i flipped my fabric um the, my uh, my bodies to the other side so that i can maximize, maximize my 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 fabric you can see the way i flipped it over if your pattern if your ankara or whatever you are using has pattern please do not do this you are going to spoil you whatever you are doing and um, i hope you understand this so my neckline the only difference is just my neckline and i went down by one inch and every other thing is the same i also added one inch allowance for my zipper i am adding zipper to this to my so once i am done cutting this i don't know if there's anything i left out and i did not mention um it's late already and i'm trying to round up with this voiceover so the next thing i'm going to be doing is to um normal do front facing front and i'm going to go ahead and join my shoulders together once i am done with that you can see it we are going to go ahead and work on the armhole and the neckline 
to pipe it so for that i have a fabric of about one inch and when you look at it it's, it's 1.5 inches at this point but i reduce it to one inch so i'm going to go ahead and make the first stitches and then fold over and fold over again and then stitch it all the way before folding um over please make sure that you make notches around the neckline and armhole before folding over so i did this did this that same thing i piped my neckline and i also piped my armhole the next thing i'm going to do is to um closing and uh, front facing front and then i'm going to go ahead and stitch this down by half of an inch once i take my bust measurement every other place it will be half of an inch because it's not a fitted gown that's why it's half of an so it doesn't matter how um, free it is um, so this is it after i was done with um stitching this side the next thing i'm going to do is to hem this with whichever allowance that you added and this is it after i was done hemming it is coming together we are almost done with the style i told you guys it's going to be a simple one very quick tutorial so this is it after i was done hemming the um the hemming the gown um i'm going to go ahead and arrange it arrange the gown very well and then this is the piece we are going to be using for the ruffle on the hemming side and this is i have i measured my hemming area and i doubled measurement plus some inches so just do work, what works for you how long you want how full you want it to be or how um scanty you want it to be and for the width of it um for the length of it i have um five inches i have about six inches sorry and because my my is not long enough i'm going to go ahead and join this so once i join it i will have a long piece of fabric and i'm going to go ahead and fold it together and i will stitch at one side of it so remember i have um six inches by the time i am done stitching it down i'll i'll end up having um 2.5 inches right so you see the way i am stitching it down that's how you're going to stitch it and you're going to leave an opening at the center to turn it to the right side so every other side every other side of this piece is stitched i'm just cutting out all the excesses at the uh, at the or neat at the beginning so that it doesn't um it will reduce the bulge so i'll go ahead and turn this to the right side and also use my scissors to push out everything out very well once i am done with this i'm going to go ahead and close up that area that is open and then top stitch it and once i am done with this i'm going to bring it in for also to attach it to our gather our gown so the first thing i'm going to do is to find the center of that piece and then find the center of my gown i'm going to go ahead and pin the two centers together and why i want to pin it on um, the gown is um from the hemming side is one inch away from it so you can see um is one inch away from the hem of the gun i hope you understand this so it's not sitting it's not um the same length with the gun is one inch away so you can see how i am how i am plating this our plate is more like they are facing each other then i'll pin it down and then i'll plate another one making sure that both of them are uh, facing each other so this depends on how much fabric that you have so the it will you it will, you will determine how spacious you want it to be or how close you want it to be so this is it after i was done because of the ankara is not really visible and um, because the ankara is very busy but i i hope you can see the effect on it and the next thing i'm going to do is to close up the zipper allowance and then attach my zipper and that's all for this style i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up please it really it, it really helps this channel subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel please share my videos with family and friends and support me in any way you can oh, thank you very much for watching i really appreciate it and i will see you in my next video thank bye